<gasps> what up, y'all? Welcome back. We're doing a Zendikar. Zendikar Rising, Drafter Ruski on the Magic Internet Machine. This card is bananas, right? This card's great. I mean, we're just taking this guy, right? I mean, it's just six mana Avenger of Zendikar. And then instead of going instead of going wide, he goes tall with each creature. They're both five fives, and they both make plants equal to the number of. I don't see it. You know what? Me neither. I'll make it big for you guys. Oh, that's still behind my head. There you go. Titty Chris for the next emote. Who's with me? Oh boy. Just to be clear, Nifty Chris sent me this uh, previously. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a beautiful card. I think it's actually this. This card's great. Target creature. The first side says target creature fights a creature you don't control, and then it flips into a land. So, that seems pretty good. <laughs> and now we're banned on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, it was only a matter of time, really. Destroy land. It's controller. This is not a great green uh, red pack. Whenever land is battlefield, there's one damage each opponent. Sure. I mean, it's a 3 4 for 4. It's not terrible for green, or for red, rather. <sighs> Tap another untapped rogue. Here's a wizard. I'm not. I'm on a third pick. This Reachy boy. I don't even think this card. I don't even think this card's that good. I'd rather have the three-two. It gets a counter every time you attack with another warrior. That's an elemental. And we can just splash this in like red, green, red, uh, red, white, or green, white. Also, spare supplies just draws you two. I'll just take the spare supplies. One one death touch. Literal no red cards. Okay. Uh, whenever you cast an instant source, put a charge counter, remove all charge counters. Yeah, I don't care about that. Destroy an artifact or an enchantment. Destroy a creature with power four or greater. Good old smite. McKinvey Ox is actually real good. I'm going to take McKinvey Ox. Two, two for two, and then if you kick it, it enters a four, four. That's actually pretty good. It's very similar to Kavu Predator, I believe that's what they're called. Draga Visionary, also decent. You said Prowling Felidar. I'm checking what that is. Oh, the 2 3 for 4. Uh, yeah, that guy's actually pretty good as well. Um,. I think it's either Gnarled Colony or Jiraga Visionary. Actually, it could be Molten Blast. Yeah, let's take the Molten Blast. Because it still leaves us red-green, green-white, or red-white. So... Bear, bear. There are only five creatures in Magic with the name Prowling in them. Prowling Caracal, Felidar, Night Stalker, Pangolin, and Serpapard. All of them are super friggin' weird. Molten Blast again. Whenever this or another creature in his battlefield gain a life, sure. There's four damage target creature that block this turn. This actually seems fine and limited. I'll take this. I think it's better than Molten Blast. P 
prowling Mike? I don't think Mike could ever prowl is the problem. God, Marasa Brute's just so bad for the rate. Nah, this guy's not better. I mean, this guy's... I guess it's fine. It's not exciting, though. Whatever. Whenever you cast the instant or sorcery, it deals one damage to any target. I think I'd rather just have broken wings in the sideboard. Take these broken wings. Adventure awaits. This card's actually pretty decent. What if MTGO screws up and you play the Zendikar draft with your Supreme Cube deck? Uh, Kerwit is literally a what's up machine. Vice City vibes. Wait, what happened? What was the reason for that? Oh, because of the Johnny H. Jazz broken wings. I got you, buddy. I got you. What up, Yale? Always good to see you, my dude. I'll put the McKinney Ox over here for now. Does this go in the main deck as a... I think we. I think this is okay in the main deck as like a spell. Zero one. So this is just step links. I like Torrenting Voice. What is this one? Channel Land is a 4-4. Four, four. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's not terrible though. I'm gonna take the voice. We need to talk comics soon, buddy. We should definitely talk comics soon. You just try and stop me. It's good in the landfall deck. Oh, because when you uh, when you get your land back, you can play it in this landfall trigger. That's my impression of you, Super Fritz. <sighs> Got him. I feel like you're always... Yeah, yeah, I feel like you're always posting new stuff. Um, Poisoner is good. All right. This is not terrible for our green reds for a start for our green redness. Learn to live so free when we hear the voices sing. Oh my god, Narlod Colony came back? That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna put this guy here because he's basically a five drop. <laughs> Lucky enough to live in a place where A, pre-release happened and was safe. B, got mana screwed every match. Three, and lost them all 2-1. Some guys have all the luck. Wow, another Broken Wings. Sure. This is 11 playable cards. 12, 13 playable. Four, technically, all, all these cards will be playable. I, I think I could play all of these cards in the deck. My screen melted from the roasting. Buddy. I apologize. Thank you. 
barely play games really bad. Oh my god. Superfresh just sent me a video of the thing we were just talking about. Me, me, uh... Me. <laughs> it's it's kind of hilarious and I really wish I had a... Yeah, it's really good with the lead fall trigger. You can pick up the barely play games really bad. Yeah, it's really good. That's actually hilarious. He's also using a Facebook filter, so he looks ridiculous. Uh, that's pretty hilarious. I think it's actually just Skyclave Pickaxe. Oh, God. Null Priest is so sweet. I still want... I gotta open... Uh, I gotta open that the things to make sure... The price list to make sure I'm not throwing any sweet value away. Okay, I don't think so. Fortunately, Null Priest is not worth anything. Oh, Skyclave Apparition. That card's sweet. Oh, it's also like four tickets? Probably taking that. Canopy Bail is pretty good. I'm taking the apparition. I don't even care. You guys can judge me. Oh uh, yeah, this is <laughs> fuck. I can't even do it. Oh, uh, this card seems great. I mean, the eight mana portion is just fantastic. Yeah, we're just taking this. I mean, even like putting two lands into play is great with uh with landfall cards, but then like. You know, if you kick it. After we make up the planty boys. Ooh, brushfire elemental. On color. Rabbit bite also pretty good. This might come back. I don't know if anyone else is in these colors. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the removal at this point. I am I'm gonna sell that B and I'm gonna sell the uh Hmm. I picked up a Magmatic Channeler the other day, and I was going to sell that, and I forgot, and now it's worth half as much. Well, that's sad. Yeah, another Molten Blast is probably fine. Did Superfruits ever come back? With the lead fall trigger, you can pick up... <laughs> Fucking dying from this. Oh, man. Hilarious. Oh, another Broken Wings? Nice. Actually, Turn Timber Aesthetic's pretty good. Scorch Rider's a 4-3 for 4. Gains Haste for 6. Yeah, I'll just take Turn Timber Aesthetic. What a baluster stone. Okay, that was a random... Random noises keep happening. Might of Marasa. Plus three, plus three for two, or plus five, plus five for five. Could be fine. Or mega four, four. I'll just take the Zendikon. It could be playable. I think it's probably fine. <laughs> Poor Frogo. Oh, man. That's who said it.
Two mana for one three, gain a life. Yeah, it's whatever. I'm not sure what the uh, distribution of the, the dual faced lands should be. Like, this is a lot of artifacts. Two, three for three, flying defender, or a four, five for seven. Might not be terrible. How many warriors do I have? <laughs> like, literal none, I think. I mean, it's still a flying blocker, which is pretty, pretty decent. I'll take another McKinney Ox. So, because I think I think if you have seventeen lands and then these as well. You're definitely not going to get mana screwed, but or, I mean, like you're less likely to get mana screwed, but you're you're also likely to get more flooded if you're forced to use these earlier. But if you run seventeen only, like seventeen with these, oh yes, that's what we were hoping for. I think we're the only red green drafter now, which is kind of sweet. It's a kite scale, kite scale, kite kite haven, cliff haven, kite sail. Wow, that's a that's a mouthful right there. Oh, what up, El Carino? Asking for a friend. Is this Zendikar Rising but on Moto? Yes, yes it is. It's just a Zen. It's uh the kids are calling them Zendikar Rising drafts. Hmm. Oh, foil, huh? That's interesting. Wonder if that's worth anything. No, the foil is actually worth less. That's Kind of sad. Oh boy. I mean, this guy's pretty bananas, though, right? All right, taking this fat idiot. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, or X is the number of creatures in your party. Interesting. Why Moto? Explain it to me as if I was a child. Well, you see, Matthew, certain people don't have any gems on on Magic Arena. And some people have tickets and, and play points on Magic Online. So, 
There you go. So if we take the pathway, it does give us the opportunity to play McKinney Ox. Because we also have things like uh, like Vastwood Surge or even Reclaim the Wastes. I wonder if this... Like, I just don't know how good this is. Like, we have... That's a Warrior. That's a Rogue. But everything else is, like, Elementals. Like, we really don't have many dudes. I'm just going to take the, the land, and I think the other guy will come back. 4-5 Trampler for 6, but also a land. 3-2 for 3, add Red for each creature in your party. This guy's good, but I don't think we have any character spells we have. We have, like, 1, 2... Three. How butt is your party gonna be? I don't know what that means. Like beast elemental, cleric, beast, lizard, warrior, rogue, ugh, elemental, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> like we have three creatures that, that constitute any sort of party. I mean, I like both of these, to be honest. I think I'm going to take the Akum Warrior. Two more Molten Blasts. Another another Ascetic. Which I do kind of like. I, I mean, look, you have a Sizzling Barrage, Double Molten Blast, and a Rabid Bite here. I think we're actually fine on removal. I think we're just, we have nine creatures, so I kind of want more creatures. And that guy's pretty big, so... Yeah, this pack's pretty bad. I think scale is actually probably fine. We can take a scale. It's my party and there's only one cleric. Only one cleric. If a cleric touched you. Dun, 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 dun. CD ROMs. What's happening in chat right now? The trick is you have to use your free AOL CD ROMs to dial up a 28k to log on Timmy Chio. Oh, I'm really glad we got another Marasa Sproutling. I like Canopy Bailiff a lot too, though. I think this guy's just better because it draws you a card. Like Gnarled Colony. Uh, Vastwood Surge. Crag Plate. And it's just a 3-3 three, three for 3 at the worst. And we could probably get another Bailoff. That's my guess. I mean, I'm kind of, like, both of these are fine, but I think we can e we can easily ditch one of them. Or spare supplies. Like, they're all kind of just middle of the road. Oh, Territory side Scythecat I actually think is pretty decent. Yeah, we'll take supplies out. I should say Dan's is asleep and I got into the tequila and we're currently staying in a tiny house. <laughs> are you just drinking by yourself while Dan's is asleep? Because that's pretty hilarious. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'll read your judgment. Now that's going to be in my head forever. Oh, McKinney Stampede. Oh, that Gnarled Colony. That's got to be better than several things we could be playing. And it's another kicker card for our 
are sproutling. I just remember mayo nasal spray. Chris, why would you just remember that randomly? Oh, God. I'm going to take the barrage. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Chris sent me this previously. Disgusting. Then I woke up to being disappointed. Chris, I wasn't mad. I was just disappointed. Oh, the other brush fire elemental didn't come back, but this is actually 23 cards and I'm pretty much fine with it. Eleven six? That doesn't seem correct. I mean, I still think it's 8-9. <laughs> and then we have one of each of the... Uh... Yeah, this deck seems sweet. Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Decent filtering. Axe. Molten Blast. Ambush. Brute. This guy. Scale. Yeah. Seems okay. I'm um, game. Oh, we have to hit the play button. My bad. Nothing yet, huh? All right, let's do it. No, the other Gruel 2 draw. I just said that. I said the Brush Fire Elemental did not come back. It's like you're not even listening to me. Oh, God. This is my second draft in the format. My first deck, I went green-blue. This deck, I went... Oh, and my matchmaking failed. This one, I went green-red, so... Oh, I get to play first. Oh, I'm going to keep it. Turn two Narlin into turn three scale. That's not terrible. These lands are great. Utility knife. Wow, look at that guy. Fashion late to the party. Whenever this attacks, start controlling my last can't block, sure. Hello, mother. Go my father. We're gonna play this so that the extra land we play can play Tajiru Blighty Boy. Get in there. Do your job. Uh, 
Yep, sure. Oh, God, this is the second time I played against this guy. Kind of surprising. Hmm. That's pretty good. Look at the top five cards. You may reveal a creature among them and put it in your hand for the rest of the month. So if we don't if we don't get anything, we just get to draw a card. Hmm. And this is whenever it attacks, start creature members with a power less than or equal to the number of warrior you control. Okay. I guess we'll just play a brute. I think the equipment's auto attaching is a great addition. I don't know if it should have always been like that because being able to play like a sword of, of fire and ice for three and have it auto equip is really strong. But I think those would have been designed a little differently. You know, like maybe they cost four and auto equip the first time. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure they're just going to draw. Draw a card here, attack us for like... Seven is a plus two? Yeah. Put it on here. This guy can't block. Yeah, it's not that hard. Yep. Three, four, five, six, seven. Interesting. I'm sure they have a trick. And... Shelter. All right. Go to 12. Seven, we take five. I mean, we're taking seven, we're going to five. So if they have a way to deal five, that's pretty impressive. Sure. Seems good. Yep, draw an extra card every turn is pretty decent. Oh, they can just equip this, make this guy. Well, eh, then we still get this guy, I guess. So, all right. I mean, they also have seven mana and two more cards in hand, so I'm sure that's going to not work out. Yep, that's pretty good. Kill one guy. Okay. Sure. 
sure. This is five, ten, we have to block one, sure. You got it. Like removal spell. Nope, that's not a removal spell. So now they just block. It's a removal from combat. That's interesting. Oh, it just doesn't kill this guy. That's great. Oh boy, I don't actually think we can attack here. I mean, all their creatures are lethal right now, and they make one of my guys unable to block, so let's just go to the next game. I don't think that would have done actually that much. We have double Molten Blast against the <laughs> equipment deck. It's kind of funny. Not great indeed, Bob. Not great, Bob. Two drop. Similar. Ideally, we hit a land next turn, and then next turn, and then next turn. Is it uh, three? Okay. Well, that's just fine. I'm actually going to pass because I'd rather hit a land here and we did hell what are the odds of us cat I think we just want a 3-3 three, three on the board and another land lets us hit this guy no land means we can play this and then play this in anticipation of Craig played Bayloth which is probably unbeatable in this format or in any format. Wow, that's very bold. Actually, real surprised that attack. Like you're not winning this race with a with a four two flyer. Okay. 
Oh, now they're not. Now they're not attacking. Well, I am tempted to just play Scourge. I think it's more important to do that than... We're not going to wait for 8 mana. Like, uh, one of each. So if you want to trade. Sure, they did not find another one. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> but we're just going to cast this guy. Mm -hmm. So you're going to one. Okay. And I have a hexproof creature. And I have a Phi Lath in hand. Oh my god, we're going to Phi. Phi the sh... Also, if you guys are watching, definitely check out ManaTraders.com. You can get 20% off the first three months of any Magic Online subscription you choose with the link and promo code down below. It's a great way to support the channel. And uh, people love the, uh, you know, the little... Uh, the deals. People love the deals. I'm afraid they have a trick here, and that's just real bad, right? And if they have, like, plus three, plus three for this guy, like, the, the fight doesn't even let us. It's just us wasting a card. So... In my day, we scooped when the maths were too hard. Buddy, I hear you. Another great way to support the channel is checking out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. There's a sweet deal going on now. For 68% off a two-year subscription along with one free month, you can check out that link down below in the description. It's also a great way to support the channel, and Nord is a pretty sweet VPN if you guys are looking for a security solution for your internets. And uh, you should probably not be browsing or downloading things without a VPN. You can also access region lock content like things on Netflix, YouTube, not maybe not YouTube, but uh, Hulu, things like that. So, nordvpn.org slash franklapore, 68% off, two year subscription and a month free. So, 25 months. I'd have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Would it have, you, dude? People keep asking that. I'm definitely gonna recommend it to them. Hey, next time you do a deal, do 69% off. You're on the internet for crying out loud.
now I don't have to play my thing. Oh, that's great. I was afraid I was going to have to play this as a land. Now I can just play Elemental into Tiger, into this guy, into play land. Pump this, pump this. Oh, this is nice. You wouldn't 68% a bear. <laughs> I guess that's true. I feel like that's not inaccurate. Dude, the Zendikar value is real. Ooh, no red sources. I mean, worst case scenario, play this as a land. Play Brute. Put a counter. Attack for six. Also, I keep getting this card and this card confused. Okay, now we don't have to do that. And now we can play two more dudes. That's pretty cool. I think we I think this game's over, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean the only sweeper in, in, in white is eight mana. It's like the eight mana. Uh, flip land. Well, this was not a game. Okay. I don't know why you didn't mulligan, but... To mulligan is a sign of weakness, you know? And to not mulligan is a sign of pride. And pride goeth before the fall. So. That's cool. Oh my god, I think they almost have six their turn. It was so close. I should, I should be like, bro, why aren't you playing any packs of Supreme Drafts? They're sweet. Um, I probably should have played this just to guarantee a third turn play. <sighs> what a dummy. Oh, wow, that guy's pretty sweet. Yep, that's what I was f afraid of. unfortunate I can't see a better option than just killing this guy while we have a chance. We'd have to also discard if we don't, so. What does that do for us? Well, that guy's pretty good. It might just be Legac here. Like, we're going to have to engineer a situation where we play Surge and then Pickaxe and then Rabid Bite. Well, 
Well, we're already at six, so I'm not holding out high hopes for our victory here. Especially when they're playing a five drop. Oh, they're just drawing cards. Okay. Sure. Okay, we needed a green because we need to rabbit bite and equip. So, unfortunately. I mean, I really want a two for one myself with bite and blast. Because then we still have to deal with Stonework Pack Beast. It's really frustrating. The bottleneck is definitely the green mana here. That's unfortunate. I'm taking a risk here. I mean, if we can draw a forest here, it's actually very, very good. I mean, we have to also survive, but forest lets us go Skyclave and Vastwood Surge or Rabbit Bite and Vastwood Surge. And they could also just kill us with like a Molten Blast, which I'm pretty sure they're going to do. So, you know. Yep. Cool. To the surprise of no one. Keep a barrage in, I guess. Do I got reach? No. One threes that don't have reach, I'm like, what good are you? Okay. <laughs> sure. What's the worst that could happen? Oh boy, Kerwin. I think if they didn't vent transporters, the worth the worth of your the value of your car would plummet through the through the sea. God, can you imagine how how much transporters would disrupt the uh, auto industry? It's so funny how like scientific advancements can sometimes like literally cripple economies like no one would need cars anymore and what do you do with all the cars that exist like i mean i'm sure there'd be like niche people who still want to just drive for the heck of driving you know that'd still be a thing but good lord, the majority of people just, you wouldn't pay car insurance, you wouldn't pay, you know, you wouldn't pay for monthly payments, you wouldn't have them taking up driveways, and, you know, the risks on the road would be so much fewer. <laughs> it's pretty wild. It's kind of crazy to think about, right?
Get in there, you little gnarled. Sure. Okay, well, that's fun. Royal Eruption ruining all my fun since 2020. Oh, that's actually not bad now. That's a good, that's well timed. Four or five now. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery, deals one damage, sure. One, two, three. Nine, ten. I think Sizzling Barrage is actually pretty good here, especially when this guy is Trample. Oh, I feel a double block coming on. This is pretty good. I got a thing, got a one blue spell. Okay. Sure. Well, that's unfortunate.
You guys are still talking about tube transport? So they block here and here. We get to kill one. Yeah, we can just pass here. I remember when Al Gore created the internet. Those were good times. Al Gore inventing the internet. Do -da. Do -da. Which is better? This guy's good to trample? Uh, no. So the trample is probably better on this guy. Okay, just 3 2 defender for 2. Sure. We're just going to have a good old fashioned creature down here. I remember when Al Gore hung down the man bear pig. Never forget. I'm getting something out of my drawer. Okay, we did it. When I was in high school, I had some friends that lived next to each other. One of them got a cable modem, then ran another in a cable between the houses through a garden hose and buried underground. <laughs> That's pretty wild, man. That doesn't even sound real. Okay, you bounced that guy. Sure, my dude. Five. Push it to the limit. <laughs> Walking on the razor's edge. I don't think we attack with this guy, right? That just seems terrible. I feel like this is a long grindy game and this is one of the things I don't like about normal draft formats so you just get into these positions where it's like yeah it's not exciting annoying
Oh my god, let's go. This 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 match is so annoying. We have eight minutes more on the clock than them, dude. I just want to end this game. I think we're losing this match, and that's fine, but... I just kind of want to be done with it. <laughs> like, good grief, man. Okay, got, got it. Number three. Sounds good. Yep, bounce this guy for the third fucking time. Cool. Okay, going to five. Yep, sure. Yep, sounds good. Cool, let's just go to the next round. Thank you for taking 40 minutes to play your third cunning geyser mage. I know it's a difficult choice. We all have difficult choices to make during these these difficult times. At least I get to play. Mm, yeah, let's mulligan this one. 19, virtual 19 lands in the deck. I don't know why Adventure Awaits doesn't hit a land. It's really weird that in the land set you have this Adventure Awaits card that you can only reveal a creature card. It's kind of weird, but what can you do? Kerwood, have a good night, buddy. I'm still going to hold this. I think it's still a little bit better. We don't have a three drop that's great just a couple molten blasts That's hilarious. Oh god, I almost clicked on my thing. Green. Psh, go. So we can probably just decline and, and try to hit a land, I guess. Or we can hit, take one of our... Take one of our flippy boys. Oh, look at this guy. Um, I'll play this guy. Sure, why not? I mean, worst case scenario, we venture awaits and next time we don't hit, we play Colony Ambush. get a lot of fancy lands over here this seems much better we can get rid of a molten blast play a land attack for two Come on, cat. We're just going to attack. Like, if they have anything to do, they can easily respond to my, my trigger, so... Alright, 
That was pretty good. Everything resolved. If we hit another land, we can go scale into molten. Well, I guess we had to hit two lands. Land. I don't like asking for lands here. It's kind of weird. I'm not used to it. Oh, we did not hit a land there. That's wild. I think they have F6. I don't know what's going on here. They're a blue-black deck. Again, if this hit a land, we could have went Adventure Awaits, find a land, play the land, scale the heights, which would have been two plays, and then we're set up for Gnarled Colony next turn. Adventure Awaits not hitting land seems like a flavor fail in this format, but what do I know? Let them get big. This set seems very stingy with the fixing. I mean, it is. It's definitely a two-color set. Kick it! That's uh, Beastie Boys. What is this guy? As long as the opponent has eight or more cards, so it's just a three, four? Sure. Well. Hmm. I guess we adventure awaits. Just the three, four, he says. God, look at that. They just took all of the on color. Just brush fire lentil. Attack for three. Could just be blight blade. I mean, I think we're definitely playing this because we want to play this next turn. And then they just block it. That's pretty bad. I'll take the bright blade. They have five cards in hand. We have two. It's very weird. I could see making an argument for the four five as well, or the five four, just because. It's just big. But, I mean, this guy either trades up or gets some points in there. We have the top four cards. Okay, so it's just bitter, and they go to five. It's pretty okay. I kind of want to hit a land so we can get a four five out of this guy. Because without that, they could literally just kill our five five, and we just have a bunch of old ones. Similar to Avenger of Zendikar in that regard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Might still be worth it, to be honest.
it's still a five five and like next turn if we hit a land without this guy dying we get a four five and a and a crag plate oh they're gonna just counter it for one <sighs> sure yep Well, they're at four. second still have four cards in hand. It's a fine trade. Spitfire Legac is actually a decent clock. What is this? Just gain control, my guy. It's pretty good. Jesus. Well, there's a land. The four one counters on it. I just don't think we have the luxury of that. Uh, five, so four, eight, we kill one. <sighs> oh boy. I don't think attack. Well, like we double attack. They bl they chump block one, or we get in for three and kill this guy. Yeah, I think this is what we have to do, unfortunately. Puts them to one. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? What? A, wait, why? I don't understand. I didn't win that game. I mean, they just double block that guy, go they go to one, or they chump and then eat. Huh. Uh, Broken Wings seems actually straight up better than this. Well, we want to be able to deal with the 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 bubble enchantment. Oh, but you did. <laughs> you know what? Touche. Touche. I guess one and one is fine. The problem is that steel that steel creature guy is not an enchantment, so
Why Tormenting Voice or Spare Supplies? I don't know. That's a good question. Spare Supplies might be better. I'm so glad to have found you as a content creator and overall great personality. Love all you and Mike and Katie bring to the world. I wish you all the best. Sorry, I just thought... <laughs> Man, that's awesome. That's really heartwarming. I'm gonna keep this. I don't even think this hand is that great and we kept it. And all the mics. I'm like, you're one of them yourself. We're all Michael. My name is Chris. I'll subscribe soon and connect with y'all. Chris? Whatever. Whatever, Mike. Oh, boy. This is a, uh, it's a good amount of lands, my dude. Sometimes Mike say the craziest things. Oh, he missed the land drop? Oh, no. Not like this. Okay, but I have enough land for everybody, I guess, so that's okay. Oh, they didn't miss a land drop. Actually, maybe they did. Yeah, they still did. Just because they played a guy doesn't mean they didn't. Don't be stupid, Frank. Come on. Yeah, I can't think of why to play Tormenting Voice over the other one. I guess the mana requirement. I mean, it's two mana instead of four mana. But, like, is that worth a card? I don't actually know. Don't be a land. Jeez. Good gravy. This is an exciting match. Jesus. You can't eat cats, Kevin. You can't eat cats. <laughs> Why are you so random, dude? Speaking of cats, the little man's pushing his way in the door right now. Little man coming through. God, they're discarding. Even in Zendikar. <laughs> Come on, dude. This is wild. I have too many lands and nothing to do. He has too few lands. Like, this is ridiculous. There we go. Now he's on track. However, we are still not. Enters the battlefield with two 1-1 one, one counters. Each creature can Sure, that's fine. I'm probably going to Molten Blast that thing because I don't... I want to be able to spend my mana on big things next turn. And not take extra menace damage. I am dead inside. <sighs> you can't eat cats, Kevin. You can't eat cats. So one of these days, I'm going to draw a creature. And ooh, bo <laughs> fuck. But not today. Oh god, I just want to die inside.
You can kick the big green guy now? Yeah. With all the lands in my hand. Give me that Fido with Thylize Slybo Label Lobs. See, I kind of want to play this because then it lets us keep Broken Wings up next turn. But honestly, I don't know if I care about it. Ugh, God. And I'm sure this guy's dead because they have eight cards in hand and their selection is... Yep, there we go. One time. Bomb rare one time. Yep. Okie dokie. Four, eight. We've drawn 11 lands. 11 lands. Two creatures. Thankfully, we're not too far behind on life. Now we're even better on life. Look at us go. This is brutal. Big guy. Something juicy. Okay. I mean, they're going to play the bubble on this guy, and then because we didn't keep Broken Wings up, he's not going to untap. So I think we probably should have kept Broken Wings up. Put him on the bubble. They're going to feed the swarm again. Go to four. Attack us for three, put us to six. Oh my god, they are? No, okay. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah. I mean, we can Broken Wings it, but we're missing two blocks. We're missing a block and an attack. Or either one. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Down here, salt is a way of life. How real? One, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We've drawn thirteen lands out of twenty one cards. Ugh. Okay, that's actually fine. Because if we sneak this guy as an attacker, we might be able to do something with that. Sure. Actually, that might win us the game. Something good. So this is three, four, five. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. That was a win right there, boys. Wow. Now I have to go back to the game and say good games. Oh man, Jesus. 
How do you do it? Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday, and nordvpn.org slash franklepoor. You can find all of those sweet deals and links down in the description below. They're great ways to support the channel. And also, be sure to subscribe on twitch.tv slash franklepoor. If you have Twitch Prime, you get a free sub every month, and it's a great way to support the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.